As you can see, I'm not in Taiwan anymore, although perhaps you can tell that I've just stepped off a long haul flight. But nevertheless, there was so much amazing tech at the Taipei Cycle Show that we've got another video for you with some particularly interesting looking prototypes. If you follow pro racing closely, and these Vision Metron 5D integrated bars and stem are not going to be new, new to you, but they are new on the market and definitely worth a mention. So they were used for the first time by Elia Viviani in the Olympics when he won, of course, the gold medal in the Omnium. And apparently they have been adopted by so many pros that Vision can hardly keep up with the demand. They are not only an aerodynamic bar and stem, but also super stiff and, so Vision say, also comfortable as well. Part of that comes from the carbon layer, but part of it is the shape, which is pretty different. So the, the actual top section of the handlebar comes forward at 10 degree angle to make holding onto the tops when climbing a little bit more comfortable. And they've also changed the drops slightly, so they move out by five mil to put your brakes and your shifters within closer reach. So those are particularly interesting, I think. And then also, Vision have got some new wheels, which we need to go check out. Always love a new wheel. So these are the Vision Trimax, so they're aluminium wheels. You'll probably be quite familiar with them. They've been around for a while and they're really well renowned. But the KB version is the new one. So let me just whip that off. So these ones have a new plasma coating on the rim, on the braking surface. So you get better braking, Vision say, but also, most importantly, it doesn't wear off. So your black wheels stay looking black, stay looking cool. So these are the 30s. They weigh less than 1,500 grams for the set. And they've also got the 35s, which are obviously slightly deeper. You'll have to wait a little bit longer for those. Those don't come out until autumn. But these ones, the 30s, are apparently out now. Now, aero stems are becoming a big thing. And this prototype version from Culprit is a particularly neat version. If we have a look, the actual structural integrity of the stem is from underneath. And then we can take this cover off and you'll see that it exposes your DI2 wires, your actual rear brake cable, and then that hole there allows you to put a new DI2 junction box through it so you can access the function button. But then, if you fancy putting some clip-on triathlon bars on there, if you run a normal aerodynamic road handlebar, you can't actually bolt them on. So here, the ingenious solution is that you bolt them directly onto the stem itself. And then, because again, you can't fit a mount for like a head unit on there, there's actually a hole at the bottom of the stem that allows you to pop that on, and indeed like a GoPro as well, should you wish. This is a very fresh and very techy bit of tech. It's the new Wahoo Element Bolt. It's the second element in the GPS bike computer lineup. Shares virtually all the features of the larger element, but packaged up in this very neat and crucially very aerodynamic package. We've got loads of information on GCN because I was fortunate enough to unbox this just the other day. Now here's something a little bit special we've just found in a dark corner of the show. This rim is made by Venn. Now if we have a look at it, as well as the really striking finish on there, that finish shows something quite special. Normally, to make carbon fibre, a lot of people don't realise it is an incredibly labour intensive process with an awful lot of hands needed to actually lay up this carbon itself. Except this is made entirely by machines via a process of continuous filament winding. Now it's important that winding bit, not woven, because you do get continuous filament woven parts as well. But on this one, I'm told, there is no overlap of carbon at all. And because it's made by machines, it means that each one is completely uniform, as you'd find with an aluminium rim. So no chance for any kind of defects. Interesting. Now, Venn will not be bringing this to market because Venn don't actually sell stuff directly to consumer. But keep your eyes peeled for that finish because it may crop up on something at some point soon. Now, in a show pretty much dominated by carbon fibre, the brands that are making bikes out of metal are really standing out. And one of them is Bowman Cycles. So, reasonably well established already. Behind me is now generation two of their Palace frame. To put it in some kind of context, it's an aluminium frame made out of 6,000 series alloy and it weighs just 1150 grams for a size 56 frame and that's painted so it's super competitive but being aluminium the price is significantly lower than carbon fibre. But then this one 
ever on the hunt for something brand spanking new. This is fresh off the press. And this could well be generation two of what they call their Pilgrim's frame. So that's like an all road bike. Now going from generation one to generation two, they've swapped from 7,000 series aluminium to 6,000 series aluminium, made a few other tweaks as well. And in doing so, they think they've stripped out 350 grams from the frame, making this just a little over 1,200 grams, which is pretty competitive for a disc epic enduro road bike. Is this the world's sexiest e-bike? Certainly the best I've ever seen, that's for sure. It's the Budnitz Model E, and it's powered by this Zeus hub there, which gives out 250 watts, and apparently it has a 100-mile radius. And it's actually not on a Budnitz stand or a Zeus stand, it's on the Gates stand. Now, Gates are famous for this, their carbon belt drive. It's effectively a chain replacement that is maintenance free. The most interesting thing on the stand, not the sexiest, is over here, and it is this. It's called the bicycle and is a part of China's burgeoning public hire scheme. So this one could effectively be one of the most popular and well-ridden bikes in the world. And Gates have got in on the act with their carbon belt drive. Could be massive. Right, well, do make sure you subscribe to GCN. It's very simple, just click on the globe. And if you want to see more Taipei tech content, then why not click just down there or just down there for some more brilliant tech from the show.